Hello and welcome back to my channel, it's German from scratch and today's topic is Umzu and damit. The first, Umzu and damit are used to express the idea of purpose. Umzu, the English equivalent is just simply two plus infinitive or so as to. Pay attention please, there is one subject in both in the main and in the subordinated clauses. Let's take a look at the examples. I'm calling for a taxi to be at the station on time. Ich rufe ein Taxi, um am Hof rechtzeitig zu sein. Damit. The English equivalent is so that or just so. In English we can omit that, yeah? Pay attention please, there are two different subjects and they are different. And the conjugated verbs come to the end of the subordinated clause. Let's take a look at the examples. I'm calling for a taxi my friend to be at the station on time. There are two subjects, ich and my friend, and they are different. So, ich rufe ein Taxi, damit my Freund am Bahnhof rechtzeitig ist. It's very important. The second important thing is, uh, the modern verbs like wollen and sollen are used to express the idea of purpose as well, but we cannot use them in the subordinated clauses. Instead, we can, we can use können. It's a strict rule of German language. Let's take a look at the example. I need money to be able to buy something nice. Ich brauche Geld, um sich etwas Schönes kaufen zu können. And the third important thing is, in the retirement courses such as sentences where there is uh, one subject and damit is used instead of und zu. Let's take a look at the example. For example, ich lerne Deutsch, damit ich nach Deutschland umziehen kann. But not every uh, sentence uh, with umzu construction can turn into the sentence with damit construction. To understand where I can do this and where I can't, it takes time because only native German speakers can feel uh, the right way of turning uh, um two sentences into the damit sentence where there one subject. Okay, so if you just start on German, just remember one thing that you should use um two if there is one subject. You should use damit if there are two subjects and they are different. Okay, let's take a look at the example. Uh, die Lehrerin gibt um, zwei Übungen auf. In die Schule sollen den Stoff wiederholen. Let's combine the two sentences into one. Pay attention please, there are two subjects, die Lehrerin und die Schule, and they are different. And there is sollen in the subordinated clause, but we can't uh, use um, sollen and wollen in the sentences with umzu and damit constructions, so we just omit it. Okay, what do we have? Die Lehrerin uh, gibt zwei Übungen auf, damit die Schule den Stoff wiederholen. I think it's easy, yeah? The next example, for example, man macht eine kleine Pause, man uh, will nicht müde werden. Pay attention, please. There is will in the, in the subordinated clause. Remember, we can use to wollen and sollen in the subordinated clause. So, what do we have? We just submit it, yeah? So, what do we have? Man macht eine kleine Pause, um nicht müde zu werden. I think it's very easy. Let's summarize. Um zu is two plus infinitive and so as to. There is one subject. Damit is so that or just so. There are two subjects. We can't use wollen and sollen. Instead, we use können. Okay? Thank you for watching this to me. Have a nice day. Bye.